and welcome to Once Upon a Time, the San Bruno Public Library's Cable Storytime. Today I have lots of really interesting books, but first let's sing our welcome song. Are you ready? Here we go. We're glad you're here today. We're glad you're here today. Hi ho the merry yo. We're glad you're here today. We're glad you're here today. We're glad you're here today. Hi ho the merry yo. We're glad you're here today. I am glad that you're here today. We have so many good books, and today I brought one of my favorite books called Pirate Boy by Eve Bunting. Danny and his mom were reading a book called Pirate Boy. When they came to the end, Danny said, Mom, what if I want to be a pirate and sail away on a pirate ship? Oh, then I will be sad, Mom said. But Mom, Danny asked, what if I don't like it on the pirate ship and I want to come back home? Then I will ask a nice friendly dolphin to take me out to that pirate ship and we will bring you home. Okay, but Mom, what if you can't find a nice friendly dolphin? I will find one, but if I can't, I will swim out to the pirate ship. Okay, but mom, what if there are sea monsters and they want to eat you up? <gasps> Look at the sea monsters. Then I will spray them with my magic spray. <laughs> and they will get smaller and smaller and smaller. They will be as small as your goldfish. Look, she sprayed them so small. Okay, but mom, what if you get to the pirate ship and the pirates like me and don't want me to go? I will tell them that you are my little boy and I am taking you, mom said. Okay, but mom, what if they're bigger than you? Ugh. I will spray them with my magic spray and they will get smaller and smaller and smaller. They will be no bigger than bugs. Okay, but mom, I didn't know you had a magic spray. Can I see it? I do have a magic spray, mom said. I cooked it up today and put it in this spray bottle. So we will be ready. Okay, but mom, after you spray the pirates and they're small, 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 and they can't hurt us, how will we get home? I think the dolphin will be waiting for us, but if he isn't, you and I will take over the pirate ship and we will sail it to Summer Beach. <gasps> My best beach, and can I be the pirate captain? Aye, aye, captain. And then what will we do? We'll leave the pirate ship on the beach and we'll run all the way home. Okay, but mom, what will happen to the pirates? Now they are as small as bugs and we won't be able to sail their pirate ship. And they were not really bad pirates. I will leave the magic spray. They can spray themselves big and sail away. And the label says, magic water for monsters and pirates, 12 and up, spray one time to shrink, two times to grow. Okay, and mom, can we play on summer beach before we run all the way home? Absolutely, mom said. We'll find shells and sea pebbles and make a sand castle. Then we'll go home. 
Okay, will Daddy be there? He will. And can I be the one to tell him about the pirates and the sea monsters and the magic spray and about being captain of the ship? You can. And we'll all have cookies and milk? I don't see why not. And mom, I'm gonna give you the biggest cookie on the plate because you are the bravest mom in the whole world, okay? And mom, if I decide to go to the moon and I don't like it there, will you come and get me? I will. Okay, mom, here's your cookie. And he gave his mom the biggest cookie. The end, that's Pirate Boy. They had a really good adventure together, didn't they? So much fun. All right, well, let's read about some special time with a boy and his papa, his dad, Every Friday by Dan Yaccarino. And he has a special note at the beginning of this book that says, every Friday, my son Michael and I have breakfast together at the Corner Diner. Since he turned three, this has been our special time together and our favorite day of the week. I hope that you too will start a little tradition like ours. Let's read about this special tradition with his son. Friday is my favorite day. Every Friday, Dad and I leave the house early. Even if it is cold, snowing, sunny, or raining. We see the shops open up and the building on the corner going up bit by bit as they build it. We look at lots of things along the way. Three more blocks to go, says Dad. Everyone is rushing, but we're taking our time. We get friendly waves from the newspaper man, the lady on the bench, the woman walking dogs, the moving men, and we give them right back. We count the dogs. One, two, three, four, five, and I mail our letters with a little bit of help. Come on, I say, only one more block to go. At last, breakfast at the diner. Let me guess, Rosa the waitress says, pancakes, right? We look at the window and we watch all the people hurry by. While we eat, Dad and I talk about all sorts of things. But soon it's time for us to go. See you next Friday, says Rosa. Already, I can't wait. The end. Every Friday by Dan Yaccarino. Well, that's a really fun tradition, isn't it? To go on a special day with your father to have breakfast, or maybe it's a special day that you always go to the park. All kinds of fun things can become traditions between you and your papa. All right, we have another father book called My Father is Taller Than a Tree by Joseph Bruchak, and it's illustrated by Wendy Anderson Halprin all kinds of fathers in this book. Every page is different. My father lifts me up so high that both of my hands can touch the sky. Look, it's the Golden Gate Bridge. That papa and son are in San Francisco. We rake the leaves out in our yard Working together isn't hard. Dad takes me with him into town 
I help him find his way around. Look, he has a therapy dog and his sonny's helping him find his way around. Pop shows me how to ride a bike. I'm too grown up now for a trike. We walk together in the park and I hold his hand when it gets dark. He pats my back when I feel sad. He understands because he's my dad. Me papa likes to hear me sing. He's very good at listening. Dad knows the times I like to hide and when to call me back inside. Pop doesn't need to buy me stuff. Just being with him is enough. My father is taller than a tree, but sometimes he looks up at me. Sometimes when he sees me frown, my dad is funnier than a clown. Paul waits for me when I go slow because the streets are deep with snow. Papa reads to me every single night until he says, that's all, sleep tight. When I grow up and have a kid, we'll do all the things that dad and I did. The end. Wow, all of those kids and their fathers did some really fun things together. There's all kinds of families. We're gonna sing a song about all kinds of families and maybe it sounds a little bit like yours and we're gonna do some signs today too. We're gonna do father and mother and sister and brother and family and special and houses and others. So many signs to learn. All right, let's sing our song together now that you've seen me do some of those signs. Some have fathers, some have mothers, some have sisters, some have brothers. In some houses there are others. Every family's special. Wow, I hope you know that your family is special and that you love your mama and papa and your brothers and sisters too if you have them. We're gonna read some more about mamas and papas and their kids in the second half of our show. I hope you come back to join us. See you soon, bye-bye. Got a sports lover in the house? Check out all the different sports programming available on San Bruno Cable. ESPN, Comcast Sportsnet, Golf and Tennis Channels, College Sports, Professional Soccer, Football, Hockey, and more. And if you have a high-definition television, upgrade to HD for the most crystal clear, sharp images available on TV today. And thank you for choosing San Bruno Municipal Cable Television for your cable TV, internet, and digital phone services. Pressure works. Put the trash in the can. All cyclists, adults and children, should follow standard safety precautions. One of the first and best rules to remember is... Always wear a helmet! Never wear a hat under your bike helmet. The helmet should be worn level and cover your forehead. The straps should always be fastened. A head injury means a brain injury. If your helmet doesn't have a Consumer Product Safety Commission sticker, get one that does. You can even personalize it with some of your favorite stickers. 
One in three Americans suffer with a deadly disease. I was one of them. After consulting with my doctor, I received effective treatment I needed. My disease was obesity. Please join the Obesity Action Coalition to acknowledge obesity as a disease. Visit obesityaction.org to sign an open letter pledging your support. Together, we can make a choice to end obesity now. Wouldn't it be nice if a maid would clean up after us? Think of it as the maid's day off. Please clean up after yourself. Keep San Bruno clean. Welcome back to San Bruno Library's Cable Storytime, Once Upon a Time. I'm Miss Susan, and today I'm reading all kinds of books about mothers and fathers and children and the fun things that we all do together and how much we love each other. Our first book for the second half today is called Little Raccoon's Big Question by Miriam Schlein and pictures by Ian Schoner. you love me most of all, said Little Raccoon to his mother. Is it when I wake up and open my eyes and poke my nose into your fur? Is it then? Oh no, said his mother. That's not when I love you most. Well, let's see, said Little Raccoon. Hmm, and he thought and thought. Is it at feeding time, when I wash my paws and wash my food and I'm very neat, when I eat? Is it then? Is that when you love me most? Oh no, said his mother, that's not when I love you most. Hmm, all right, said little raccoon. And he thought while he brushed his teeth. Is it on long afternoons when I play in the trees with the other raccoons? Is that the time that you love me most of all? Oh no, said his mother. That's not when I love you most. Little raccoon had to think a while. Hmm. Okay, now I know, he said. It's when you see how well I can swim all the way across the pond and back again. He was pretty sure now. That's when you love me most of all. It must be then. It's true, said his mother. You are a very good swimmer and I am proud of you. But that's not the special time when I love you most of all. Oh. By now, Little Raccoon was almost running out of ideas. Well, he said, is it when it's cold and we huddle all close in the den and peek out and watch the snow come down? Is it then? It must be then. There they are looking out the window. No, said his mother, that's not when I love you most. Where is it then, said Little Raccoon? It must be sometime. Is it now at the end of the day when I'm all sleepy and tired? Oh, it must be now. His eyes were just about closed. Yes, said Mother Raccoon, it's now. She stroked his head. Now is the time when I love you most of all. Do you know why? Because there is no special time, I love you all the time. So whatever time, day of night, it happens to be, that's the time I love you most, my little raccoon. Little raccoon looked up. You mean right now? Yes, right now, said his mother. It's always right now and she gave him a little raccoon kiss on his little raccoon nose. 
He was so sleepy, he almost did not feel it. Oh, good, he said. And little and soon, little raccoon was fast asleep. My night, little raccoon. That's little raccoon's big question. Well, he found out that his mama loves him best all the time. All right, let's read Because I Am Your Daddy by Sherry North and illustrated by Marcellus Hall. There's that little girl and her papa. If I were a pilot, I would fly to your school and your friends would all look up and say, your daddy is so cool. There they come. If I were a slugger, I would spot you in the stands and swing my bat to hit the ball straight into your hands. If I were a scientist, we would dig up ancient bones and find the biggest dinosaur the world has ever known. There she is sitting on top of that dinosaur, oh my goodness. If I were a carpenter, I would use my saw and drill to build two wooden go-karts built for racing down the hill. If I were a drummer, I would lead a marching band and you would ride my shoulders in parades across the land. Bum, 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 bum. If I were a ranger, I would share my hideaway so we could peek across the creek where wolf pups drink and play. Oh, there they are, watching the wolf pups. If I were a surfer, I would take you on my board and ride a wall of water as it tumbles towards the shore. <gasps> wow, how lucky. If I were a director, I would cast you as my star. Your face would light up movie screens in cities near and far. There they are at the movie premiere. If I were an explorer, I would guide you through dark caves. Stalactites lined with glowworm lights would help us find our way. Wow, look at that cave. There's bats hanging down. What a cool place to explore. If I were an inventor, I would make a high-tech treehouse that pops open a treehouse when you turn the secret key. Pew, pew, pew. Wow, what a fancy treehouse. If I were a librarian, we could venture anywhere. Wherever we decide to go, a book would take us there. If I were a musher, we would glide on Arctic snow and gaze up as the northern lights put on their brilliant show. Mush, 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 he says to the dogs. And if I were a Martian, then you would be one too. Our spaceship would have cosmic bowling and a robot crew. Oh, wouldn't that be fun to go bowling in an alien spaceship? And if I were a wizard, I would make your dreams come true. Because I am your daddy, I would do anything for you. The end. Oh, wow. They went on a lot of adventures together, thinking and imagining about what they would be doing if her daddy had all those different kinds of jobs. All right. We have Mama's Coming Home by Kate Banks. Pictures by Tomek Bogaki. Sometimes mamas work, don't they? And this is a book about waiting at home for mama to come home from work. The clock goes tick tock on the wall. The phone is ringing down the hall. Shops are closing for the day. Mama's coming home. Papa turns the oven on, ties an apron round his waist. Horns are blaring, whistles blowing. Mama's coming home. 
Boys are sprawling on the floor, babies crawling toward the door. The sidewalk throbs with footsteps. Mama's coming home. Papa's rolling pizza dough, laying sausage row by row. The station platform fills with crowds. Mama's coming home. Maybe she's taking Bart. The dog is howling loudly, growling at the cat. The train moves slowly down the track. Mama's coming home. Papa feeds the baby, scolds the boys, the dog, the cat. Mama's coming home, he says. People clamber off the train. Clouds are swelling fast with rain. Mama's coming home. Now the dog is munching, crunching on a bone. Thunder clapping, raincoats flapping. Mama's coming home. Boys have got the table made, laid with plates and silverware. Eager feet are hastening. Mama's coming home. Baby's legs are turning, churning like a riverboat. The street lights flicker on like stars. Mama's coming home. Boys are picking up their toys. The cat is licking doggy's ears. Footsteps hurry up the walk. Mama's coming home. Little faces beaming, gleaming in the window pane. Kisses flying, no more crying. Mama's at the door. Mama's home. And what are they eating? The pizza that Papa was making while she was coming home. The end. While Papa and all the boys were getting things ready, they got dinner ready and got the table ready for everyone to enjoy dinner together, didn't they? That was a really great book. Sometimes maybe you'll help your papa get dinner ready for when your mama is coming home from work. Well, I hope you enjoyed all the stories that we read today about mothers and fathers and children and all the good and fun things that we can do together and how much we love each other. Please come to the San Bruno Library to check out some of the books that you heard today or maybe enjoy story time with either me or Miss Barbara or Miss Rocky. All right, it's time for our goodbye song. Are you ready? Here we go. Well, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Well, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Well, it's time to say goodbye. Make a smile and wave goodbye. Well, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Bye-bye. So sit me down and let the spell begin. I'll find myself in story time again. Story time, story time, story time again. Story time, story.